In this lecture, we will try to understand what made Microsoft develop a completely new framework for web development, that is this ASP.NET Co, when it already had ASP.NET Web Forms and ASP.NET MVC. We will talk about the advantages which ASP.NET Co provides, which were not available in ASP.NET Web Form and ASP.NET MVC. So basically, ASP.NET Web Forms were available from the beginning of .NET Framework when it was released in the year 2002. If you talk about ASP.NET Web Forms, the biggest problem with it was the performance issues. The reason behind the low performance of Web Form was due to server events and view state. Basically, using ASP.NET Web Forms, we create a stateful web application by storing the state of each page in view state. This view state object is transferred from client to server and from server to client for each request. For simple web applications, it may be okay, but for medium or large application, it's a big drawback because the view state weight gets increased and that heavyweight view state has to be transferred from client to server and vice versa for each request, which results into slower performance. Also, in ASP.NET Web Forms, for every request, server page lifecycle has to be executed on the server. That means there is a series of server events that executes for each request, which is too complex and heavyweight. And this is another reason for slower performance of Web Forms. Another disadvantage of using Web Form is that with ASP.NET Web Forms, unit testing is quite difficult. Now, to overcome all these problems, Microsoft released ASP.NET MVC in 2009. ASP.NET MVC uses Model View Controller pattern, which is a very popular software pattern. This pattern offers clean separation of concern, which makes testing of models, views, and controllers separately, which makes unit testing easy with ASP.NET MVC. However, ASP.NET MVC has its own drawbacks. Keep in mind that ASP.NET MVC is built on top of some of the components that were already developed for ASP.NET Web Forms earlier, for example, system.webdll. So although ASP.NET MVC solves the performance issues of ASP.NET Web Forms, but not completely. Another disadvantage of ASP.NET MVC is the lack for the support of cross-platform. That means you cannot host your ASP.NET MVC application on operating systems other than Windows. Because ASP.NET MVC, being a part of .NET framework, it makes it difficult to host it on other operating systems. Alright, now what about ASP.NET Go? So, high performance, cross-platform and cloud-enabled. These are some of the features that were kept in mind while developing ASP.NET Go. ASP.NET Core's first version was released in 2016 and the latest version of ASP.NET Core is version 6.0. So ASP.NET Core, it has high performance, it is cross-platform and it is cloud-enabled. ASP.NET Web Form and ASP.NET MVC only supports Windows operating system for hosting. So it is quite difficult to host them on servers with operating system other than Windows, especially on Linux. But ASP.NET Core was designed as a cross-platform from the beginning. Also, ASP.NET Web Form is not cloud-friendly because it was developed in the time when the cloud computing was not in market. ASP.NET MVC though, it was released when the cloud computing had entered the market, it is not 100% cloud-friendly. The reason is, somewhere ASP.NET Framework depends on some of the components of .NET Framework, which are only available for Windows. But ASP.NET Co has a support for clouds and it can be hosted on cloud platforms like Microsoft Azure. That means you can host your ASP.NET Co application on Microsoft Azure without having any server infrastructure on your development center. ASP.NET Web Form follows event-driven development approach. For example, if the user clicks on the button on UI, it offers click event on the server. But ASP.NET MVC and ASP.NET Co follows MVC architecture. Finally, in ASP.NET Web Forms, we don't have support for dependency injection. However, in ASP.NET MVC, you can add dependency injection pattern optionally. But ASP.NET Co has built-in support for dependency injection. Now, we will learn more about dependency injection in great detail in the future lectures of this course. In addition to all this, ASP.NET Co is highly unit testable and also a modular framework. Okay, so these are some of the advantages and some of the features which ASP.NET Co provides over ASP.NET Web Form and ASP.NET MVC. Also, now ASP.NET Web Form is no longer an option for active development. 
and anytime soon in the future, Microsoft can drop the support for ASP.NET MVC as well. So we can say that ASP.NET Co is the future of web development with .NET. This is all from this lecture. In the next lecture, let's set up our development environment.